Yo, what is going on, everybody? It's Conventicle bringing you guys some more 2007 old school RuneScape, and this is going to be the second video of my versus series on this game. If you haven't seen the first one, it is the Zamorakian Hostel versus the Abyssal Whip. And this video is going to be on the new Slayer Master, which you can see in the footage, Naev, Naive, or Neve, I don't know the correct pronunciation of her name, versus the old Slayer Master, Duradel. So after getting assigned multiple tasks by these two Slayer Masters, I came up with a common task list that you can see on the right of the screen for both of the Slayer Masters. Naive is on the left, and as you can see, what I got most was Cow Fights, Hellhounds, Blood Velds, Dagonoth, Dust Devils, Greater Demons, Blue Dragons, Metal Dragons, which include Iron and Steel Dragons, and Spiritual Rangers, Warriors, or Mages if you have that high enough of a Slayer level, but I'm only 78 Slayer at the moment, so I don't know completely um, about Neck Reels and Abyssal Demons, so I'm sorry I can't provide you with that information, but... I'm guessing that she won't be giving you as much of those because it is required to have 85 um, combat level for Naive and 100 for Duradel. So if you're going for stuff like Gargoyles, Necreals, and Abyssal Demons, then Duradel is most likely to give you more of those. So from the common task list of Naive, the ones that you usually want to end up doing because they give you the most XP are Calphites, Hellhounds, Bloodvelds, Dagonoth, Dust Devils, and Greater Demons. If you get blue dragons, iron steel dragons, or spiritual warriors and rangers, then I would suggest blocking them or skipping them if you don't have them too much and if you have the right amount of points. I have blue dragon skip right now because she does give you a lot of those and they aren't the greatest XP. However, if you are going for a good amount of money along with your slayer XP, then they are a good option. Both of the masters give you a good amount of iron steel dragons and also spiritual rangers, warriors, and mages. And those are usually the ones that I will skip if I have the amount of points because they aren't a good amount of XP and they take a long time to do. So moving on to the common task list for Duradel, the ones that I usually get include Calphites, Hellhounds, Bloodveld, Dagonoth, Infernal Mages, Greater Demons, Black Dragons, Metal Dragons, Spirituals, Aberrant Spectres, and Black Demons. The ones that I mostly get out of the common task list for Duradel include Aberrant Spectres and Black Demons. Now they are good Slayer XP, however they are really not AFKable at all. You have to pray melee, however if you are going to use a cannon on Black Demons then they are a really good task, but personally I don't like to do that, so that's why I've been sticking with Naive lately. So if you want easy AFKable tasks that also give good XP then I would suggest using Naive. And if you want cannibal tasks, which give a good amount of XP and usually aren't too AFKable, but they can give a little bit better XP, then I would go with Duradel. So moving on from the common task lists, I wanted to give you guys some more results that I have found by using these two Slayer Masters. So if you're using Naive, then you'll get less task options. That means if you went back to my common task list, there aren't as many common tasks that you're going to be getting from Naive, and there are definitely more from Duradel. Plus, from Duradel, you're going to get weird things like Kurasks and Cockatrice, which I don't find myself getting from Naive. So you don't have to cancel as many tasks when you're using Naive if you have the correct ones blocked. The next thing is smaller assignments with Naive. This is usually a positive for me because um, I usually get sick of a task after I've killed a little over 100 of them, and Duradel can tend to assign you like 199 of a really shitty task, which can be really bad if you do not have the amount of points to skip it. The next thing is that Naive has less requirements. If you're going to be using Naive, then you only need 85 combat, and if you're using Duradel, then you need 100 combat and 50 slayer. Also, if you're using Duradel, then you need to have the quest Shiloh Village done, and if you're using Naive, then you technically do not have to have any quests done, but if you want to get there efficiently um, to make your tasks worth using or whatever, then you might want to have the Tree Gnome Stronghold, I believe, quest done in order for you to use the Spiritual Trees, which I use to get there, which I'll be showing in the footage. The next thing, like I mentioned earlier, is that Naive's tasks are more AFKable. Everybody likes to just have their guy sit there and have auto retaliate on it, then they can just go off and do something else on another part of their computer, like watch YouTube videos by me. 
Um, so that is always a good thing. And with Duradel, you have tasks like gargoyles and stuff like that. And usually they're spread far out from each other and you have to click on each one that you want to kill in order to get through the task in a good amount of time. The next thing is that Naive is right next to the Slayer dungeon and Duradel is in Shiloh Village which is basically near nothing. The positive to using Naive um, is that you know you go to your task and you're in the Slayer dungeon and then you can just go right from that task and go get another task and then go right back to the Slayer dungeon and keep getting more XP a lot faster but when you're using Duradel you have to teleport to Shiloh Village and then you have to go in a completely different place. So. That is not usually fun and it's more time consuming. The last result is that Duradel gives you more points per task you complete. Duradel will give you 15 for every task and Naive will give you only 12 for every task. And this doesn't include the times where you complete 10 in a row and 15 in a row, which Duradel will also give you more points for completing. However, when I'm using Naive, I find myself having to use less blocks or skips for tasks, so that means I'm not wasting as many points. But that is just my personal preference of the ones that I want to skip. So as you can see with the results here, Naive wins in pretty much everything besides giving less points per task. However, these results may not really matter if you like the tasks that Duradel gives you. So if you really want to figure out which one is best for you, refer to the common task list and um, figure out which ones you like to get assigned the most and you will pretty much be able to figure out which is best for you. So at the moment, Naive is best for me because I do not like getting Aberrant Spectres and Black Demons all day, and I do like getting Cal Fights and Hellhounds because they are great XP and they are very AFKable. So it mostly comes down to personal preference. However, if you are under, I'd say, 110 Combat and also under 80 Slayer, then you should use Naive. However, if you are very rich and you are a high combat level and high Slayer, then I would definitely recommend doing Duradel. But like I said, it really does come down to personal preference, so just refer to the common task list and the results that I gave you in this video, and you'll pretty much be able to figure out which one is going to be best for you. But anyways, that pretty much wraps up the video. If you enjoyed this, then please leave a thumbs up and a comment down below because I spent a shit ton of time getting all the information and making all the lists for this video. So anyways, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you guys later in my next video if you're subscribed. Peace.